name Jessica here at Antonica, uh, Canada's only insectarium located inside the Bush Plain Museum here in Sault Ste. Marie. For this week's episode of Meet a Bug, Feed a Bug, Make a Bug, we are featuring the North American June Beetle, also known as June Bug. So a June Bug is one of nearly 300 species in the Scarabidae family belonging to the order Coleoptera, which is beetles. So instead of doing the make a bug portion this week, uh, instead of the craft, we're actually going to show you guys how to make your own little home for these guys so you can uh, watch them go through and develop through their stages of life to the adult beetle form. So in the larva stage, they typically feed on uh, plant roots. So you can find them in lawns, uh, gardens. They have a very high appetite, so they are constantly eating. Um, and so this is why they actually are also considered a pest um, because they, if they're eating the roots, they end up killing crops and plants. So although they can be a nuisance to us, they are a reliable source of food for different animals and bird species. For example, uh, certain mammals be skunks, moles, birds, uh, starlings, robins, chickens, love them. Uh, they can also actually be good uh, fishing bait. So the June bug goes through complete metamorphosis life cycle. So there's four stages. There's eggs, larva, pupa and then adult. So the first stage eggs, so adult female June bugs will lay their eggs uh, anywhere between around May and June. Um, the, they will lay anywhere from 50 to 200 eggs and the eggs will then hatch in about two and a half weeks. So that brings us to the second stage, the larva stage. So after they hatch from the egg and they're in their larva stage, the larva actually look like little white caterpillars with uh, brown heads. Um, they go through about three instars and they molt twice before entering the pupa stage. So here I have one of the larva that I found we found it just digging in a garden. So this guy is pretty big. He's likely in his last instar. Um, so what happens next is he will dig deep down into the soil and he will encase himself in soil and then start pupating. And so here I actually have an example of what that looks like because we have another beetle species here that's pupating. And as you can see, it's just like a ball of dirt, looks like. And so that brings us, yeah, to the third stage, uh, the pupa. So the pupa stage lasts about three weeks. So once they're done pupating, they go into the adult stage, the fourth stage. So they'll emerge from the soil. Uh, they do live about less than one year in that adult stage. Uh, so they'll come up, they'll eat, uh, females will lay their eggs and restart the whole process. Alright, so now we're going to show you guys how to make your own little habitat for the larvae. So you can watch them go through that pupating stage and into adulthood, into the fetal form. And so, um, this container here, I just got from the dollar store. There's only about less than two bucks. Um, you're going to need some soil, so just regular black earth. Uh, you're going to need, um, I just went and dug up some grass so that, make sure you get all the roots so that you have food to munch on. And then of course you're going to need your larva. So, like I said, most commonly right now they're most active. Uh, you can go and dig up, you know, lots of people are digging up the gardens right now to plant the vegetables. And that's where you'll find them. Uh, you're going to want one that's large, so like we said, into that third instar uh, because then you should be pupating relatively soon. Uh, if you find a smaller one, uh, you'll have them for well over a year or two before you start pupating. So we're just going to fill the container with some soil. Now I'm grab them, put them in here gently. And so here I'll actually just 
like they dig his way down and cover him with the soil and put grass there on top of him. And then also, if you want, you can add rocks in there. Uh, we actually found him underneath a rock. So there you have it. And I still have a cut for him. So depending on the location, these guys will, like I said, burrow down and pupate, make that little ball. And then what happens is they're usually dying and become adults, but they'll stay down there throughout the winter. And then once they can feel the warmth and the soil heating up, that's when they will emerge. But if you guys were going to be doing this indoors, so they might actually come up sooner than that uh, because obviously it's not going to freeze. So there you have it. Here's our little habitat. Uh, if you guys do this, send us pictures. We really want to see. Send us pictures of the stages so you guys get to witness that. And if they become, or if they uh, change into the adult beetles, once they do change into adults, so let them go. Release them into the wild. Don't keep them. <laughs> These aren't meant to be uh, household pets. All right, so we hope you enjoyed this week's episode. Bye for now.